um, this is probably going to be the shortest tutorial out of all of them uh, by quite a long shot. So let me move my mic closer to me and let's get this over with. So this is how to use the uh, event maker thingy that's built into it. So you don't need to manually make it. Um, essentially, what you do is if you ever have an empty underscore events file, so like you've already used it or you've just not done anything or whatever, and you have a demo that needs to get done uh, that you've already gone through and found the ticks for, or you're going through it at the moment and finding the ticks, whatever, what you do is if you'd like to make a new one, you hit Y and that opens up a new thing. It asks you uh, the name of your demo, so I've copied and pasted the name of the demo I'm going to use already. So I'm just going to hit enter. And now it is telling you some information. When inputting ticks, remember, every bot is by default the moment of the kill. Um, and stretch that out. And then, booyah, professional. So now everything is on the right line. Um, important. Uh, slightly after is better than slightly before. That's important. Uh, that little bit right there important. Um, so let's just give it a random tick. Um, I don't actually have anything written down, but 1,400. You'll see it clears everything to let you know that it's done with that one. Uh, let's see what's the next one. Um, sure, we'll go insanely high, whatever, uh, and then even higher. Now uh, all we do is hit enter. Uh, and it actually has applied that to the underscore events file. Let me pull it up just one second. Uh, da -da -da -da, and here we go. Yeah, the underscore events file will notice has now all of that stuff that we just put on now there uh let's go back to reekbot and see some potential things that you might run into so if you are like me and you'll go through a demo and just have this loaded up uh, one thing that might happen is you start the demo and then later you realize oh there's no ticks that i want uh input uh, you just hit enter and it actually uh i will reload underscore events but the important part is that it, it literally it didn't change anything at all so um, you don't need to worry about uh, accidentally messing up your underscore events file just because you went through a demo uh, and then nothing was there so but yeah that's essentially it like I said this one's gonna be extremely quick um, now the last thing I need to mention uh, back in Ryuke but uh, is that once you're done with everything, on, when you're on the demos page, you have no more demos to go through. Just hit enter. It asks you if you'd like to run Ryukbot. Uh, you can hit yes or no. No will just leave your underscore events as it is. But hitting yes, it will run Ryukbot and place that VDM file into your uh, demos folder. Uh, and then you can just close Ryukbot. And that's it. That's basically the entire thing. Uh, this was super informal, but it's not... A hard concept but still something that some people might need a tutorial on uh, so have a great day and enjoy using Reekbot.